teaching hour. He That's loves terrifying. Gritty right now. It is terrifying. <laughs> Welcome officially to this vlog, you guys. Sorry the lighting could be better right now, I suppose. But you saw we had salmon tacos for dinner. They were mm. so good. I made them once before. I really hope my tank top isn't like falling off right now. Um, <laughs> I'm like, this is such a fall forward. <laughs> I made the salmon tacos before. They're so, so good. I can link the recipe for you guys. Very simple. And I even omit some things. I just do it my way. Eyeball it. And I made them for Max. They he really great. loved. My first time having them. Yeah, that was that. I guess all I have to say is we didn't do a what I got for Christmas this year, by the way. We didn't? Oh, Did yeah, you notice? Right. And we've we always done that in years past. But I don't know. Now that kind of is like, mm, to me. Mm. Like, I feel like, well... I was gonna say, I feel like people are over, but I guess they're not because I got some requests mm. and being like, where is it? But I don't know. Obviously, that's just not mm. what Christmas is about and we're older. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll do like an overview on TikTok. Like, I'll mm. just like show everything. Yeah. I don't know. But my best Christmas present, one of them, this blanket, you guys. Show them how we can wrap all the way around mm -hmm. in it. Show them your side. How oh, I'm, I'm wrapped. Max got me this blanket. What is the brand? Big Blanket Company. Big Blanket Company on Amazon? Well, I'm sure they have their own website yeah, but too. I got it on Amazon. And it's the biggest, comfiest blanket ever. Also, it's just as soft, if not softer than Barefoot Dreams. This is like my most favorite part of the evening, evening now when we mm -hmm. get to jump into this blanket. It's like 10 feet by 10 feet, I swear. It is. It's not like 10 it feet is. by 10 feet. It is the 10 feet The biggest by 10 blanket feet. ever. So we literally like fully wrap ourselves and it goes all the way around because I felt like it was kind of a joke, kind of a joke when I opened it because Max and I would like pull at the Barefoot Dreams blankets when we would like cuddle and watch Survivor um, and we'd fight over them. So then he got me this for Christmas so we never have to fight anymore. Mm -hmm. We literally, it's the yeah, biggest blanket sure. ever. And it's so cozy and Brody is chewing on gritty. <laughs> if you need us, we'll be here, cuddled in this massive blankie. Brody will be chewing on gritty, and we will be watching Survivor. Yeah, I don't want to tell yeah, them what yeah. season we're watching because someone's going to spoil it. Oh, yeah. If any of you spoil it, I'm going to be so mad. I'm just oh, saying. Yeah. Good morning. I just left Orange Theory, and I'm feeling sleepy. I'm quite sleepy. Goodbye. <laughs> it was so many, so much arms today. I feel like I can't like lift my arms up. Whew, not the guy that was checking me in, literally being like, do you have a late night? Like you sound tired. <laughs> I'm like, shh, jail. <laughs> I like in front of everyone in the lobby, I was like, are you exposing me right now? I guess my voice sounded kind of hoarse. I guess we we're up late watching Survivor, but I was like, don't say that to me. <laughs> No, one of my go-to breakfasts. Got some hot honey on there, some truff. The truff doesn't look that pretty. This is kind of like a messy looking one, but it's so good. I was listening to the What We Said podcast as I was cooking, and yeah, I'm having a lovely morning over here.
saw I had a little closet clean out moment that was long overdue. I really just needed to take a second to like look at all the clothes in my closet, pull out pieces that no longer spark joy, you know? But it is so much later now, guys. I can't even tell you how late it is right now that I'm finally getting to dinner. Well, I guess I'll just tell you, it is nine o'clock. Like, where did the day go? Literally haven't seen you since breakfast almost just the closet clean out and after avocado toast what you missed brody and i went on a nice long walk he actually also played with like a bunch of my neighbor's dogs i can insert a picture right here they were so cute so he was exhausted which means all of this i'm trying to say when i'm in the zone working in my office especially alone like max isn't here like no distractions brody's sleeping the whole time like he's a cat he sleeps all day i will literally just lose track of time and i look up and it's nine o'clock i'm like oh my gosh i'm about to eat my arm off like i need to eat dinner <laughs> since it's so late it's literally perfect timing for the sponsor of this video thank you so much factor for working with me on this video you are a lifesaver right now literally a godsend because there is a zero percent chance that i would be whipping up dinner right now factory meals are my favorite you guys they are fresh never frozen meals that come right to your doorstep i know they have 34 meal options to choose from each week they also have keto calorie smart and vegan options to fit your lifestyle i'm so excited right now this is the honey mustard chicken so yummy and actually yesterday for lunch i had the cacio e pepe which may be my number one now if you guys get factor meals like me try the cacio pepe it was so good and look at how easy this is takes two minutes you guys you just go like this poke a couple holes in there and then you pop it in the microwave for two minutes that's it i've just been letting this cool for a sec mm, mm, mm. Well, look at how good this looks i mean it makes sense i don't think i said before but all of their meals are actually chef prepared and they're approved by dietitians so they're literally just so tasty if you tried you know what i mean okay i know i was telling you the kachui pepe but you guys this chicken dip in the honey mustard mm. and you know what these potatoes right here maybe the best potatoes i've ever had like i'm not even kidding oh, they have rosemary on them like how my mom always makes mm, 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 mm. you know what i just realized too is that one of my goals this year you guys will see i'm gonna go through my goals tomorrow morning with you one of my goals this year sneak peek is i'm trying to eat out less okay i was like the takeout queen last year just ate out so much and it just hit me that like factor is helping me so much with this because i fully would have just ordered something if i didn't have factor so it helps so much if you were trying to eat out less like me if you guys haven't tried them if you want to i will have them linked down below in the description in the description that was in english i know you guys can go to factor75.com or click the link down below and use my code gretchen60 you will get 60 percent off your first factor box and you guys know i love hellofresh too i've had my hellofresh subscription for even longer than factor like for years and hellofresh actually owns factor i love them for different reasons clearly like hellofresh i love to zen out at the end of the night like just kind of get into a groove of cooking my own it's very therapeutic is what I'm trying to say, like when I have the time for that. And then Factor is like, there's no time. Okay, I need to eat right now. There's a lot going on. Lunch in the middle of the day. Eating dinner really late. Avoiding getting the takeout <laughs> that I'm gonna get. So I love them both for different reasons. It's time for a sweet little treat, you guys. I'm so excited right now. Okay, I'm kind of conflicted on what to do. Like, this might seem a little bit crazy, but I feel like I only want to eat two or three. So I literally <laughs> might just make three. <laughs> like, I feel like that's kind of crazy. But if any of you live alone, maybe you understand the situation. Like, I don't want to make all of them because these especially, this kind, I like the best, like, freshly cooked. So I feel like I like saving the dough and cooking them like right before I'm gonna eat them. Do you guys do that if you live alone? Like if you just want two or three cookies, do you do this? Cause normally I would make all of them or make at least most of them for like me and Max, but I'm alone, Max is away. Did I even say that today? I don't think so. He left this morning for a road trip. So yeah, three days. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny, but it works, right? All I gotta say is, if you haven't tried out the Sweet Lawrence, I feel like I always call it Sweet Lorenz. I think it's Sweet Lawrence chocolate chunk cookie dough by now. I feel like I've recommended it a bunch. 
what are you doing? This stuff is seriously so good. I believe it's vegan. Does it say that on your store? Oh yeah, plant-based, gluten-free, dairy-free, peanut, tree nut free, and you would never know. They just are so tasty. Also, I'm just showing you guys a bunch of things I like right now while I'm waiting for my cookies to cook. Brody and I are about to have a really cozy night. I put like blankets all around the couch for us to snuggle up in, lit the little Christmas lights, even though it's not Christmas, because we're gonna get cozy. And do you know the show we're gonna watch, mister? You having a little late night snack, Aru? Oh, I guess I could get you more food. But I don't know if you should eat that much more. <laughs> I feel like I feed him a lot. He just kind of picks it up throughout the day. I'm like asking him as if he's gonna answer me. We're gonna watch Emily in Paris because I started the new season and I just love that show. I think it's so good. Oh, are you tucking yourself in already, sir? <laughs> he's like, mm, it's bedtime. <laughs> okay, what I was trying to say is that I don't think I was vlogging the other day. I think I showed in a TikTok trying to be on my TikTok grind this year, that I picked up these flowers and they were just speaking to me. I wasn't planning on getting flowers. And then I was like, these are literally so beautiful. I saw white bouquet pine geraniums and the pink. And I was like, if I mix those together, they're gonna be so cute. I feel like I'm not really good at arranging them. I feel like they kind of like looked better before I try to like mix them all together. But yeah, hydrangeas are my favorite. These have been making me really happy. They don't really go with the Christmas stuff I still have up, but yeah. Where's B? B. Why would you pick a perfectly cozy bed, dog bed, when you have the tile floor of the bathroom, I guess the rug too. He always lays in the bathroom, I think because it's dark and quiet, typically cooler on the tiles and away from where I can bother him. <laughs> That's probably why. Woo, yeah. Wait, why is it taking so long to love <laughs> Okay, yay, it's working. I want to say I'm on episode two. No spoilers if any of you finished it, okay? Promise you won't. This is like my, I don't even know what you call it, not guilty pleasure show, just like feel good show. Um, like it's not too heavy, scary, crazy, anything like that. Cause I feel like I get very affected by the shows I watch. Like I'll be really scared, it'll keep me up at night. I'll be really sad, like things like that. And this is just like a feel good, I don't know, I love it. Kind of like romance, Paris, it's like pretty. And I like that she works in fashion stuff. It's just like a fun, lighthearted show, you know? So that's what me and B are up to. Wait, we gotta check on our cookies. Uh, okay, they need a minute. They still aren't like flat yet. <laughs> okay, I feel like they never really flattened. Like I thought they were gonna, maybe I should have pressed them down more. I feel like normally they flatten a little bit more, but the bottoms look like perfectly golden brown. So I think they're good. Mm-hmm. Nobody. I was gonna say, we'll be here if you need us. Having a cozy night in. Can you tell this is the Brody plate? Brody, I wish I could give you some, but it's chocolate. You're allergic. I wanna show you guys, but the cookies are on there. See how it's Brody on there? It's the best little plate ever. <laughs> now you're really gonna snuggle with me. Come on. Up, up, up. Up. <laughs> This is how I really get you to snuggle with me, huh? But you're not, I'll get you your own cookies in a minute. You're not allowed to have, buddy. Is something wrong with my Netflix? It says 5% loaded. Remember my Wi-Fi, like it's going so slow. I'm ready to chat with you guys. Put on the same sweatshirt as yesterday. 
Don't judge. I know you all do it too, okay? It's so comfy. It's teaks, by the way, in case you're wondering. I'm always just throwing it on because it's a big, gray, comfy, oversized hoodie. So, I was saying yesterday how I wanted to discuss my goals, resolutions, I suppose, if you will, but really goals for... 2023 on here. I thought this would be a good idea going into this year. Set my intentions for you all and basically I just thought of it because I'm feeling quite brave. I need to do this quick before I lose the courage to. I made a podcast episode all about my goals for this year and so apologies if you listen to that. I'm gonna be saying my goals again but I just wanted to talk about it on here since this is a totally different platform for those of you that don't listen to my podcast. If you don't by the way you should. It's I was about to say the wrong name of the podcast. Am I okay? The I was about to say the happy hour something. Like what was I trying to say? It's happy hour with me, Gretchen Garrity. I think I was thinking of my Instagram for happy hours, like happy HR pod or podcast. Am I like okay today? Anyway, all that I'm trying to say is I felt kind of comfortable on there because there wasn't a comment section for people's feedback. But on here there is. And I'm feeling brave because I feel like talking about it on YouTube you guys are really gonna like hold me accountable here so let's go I'll try not to make this way too long but I do have a lot of goals for this year and I thought it'd be worthwhile to share maybe you'll be inspired maybe you'll relate to me we have some of the same goals maybe you're gonna be like Gretchen you're crazy I don't know okay I have the list right here goal number one was I mentioning this yesterday? Well, this is a part of the reason I was MIA all day in the office, so focused. I feel like this is gonna be such like a focused, work heavy year for me because of my first goal, which is to post at least one TikTok every day. I was saying in my podcast, I believe, now I'm gonna have deja vu because I'm like, did I say it here? Did I say my podcast? But, or did I say in this vlog too? Oh my gosh, I can't remember. But basically, I've just been thinking how I love consuming content on TikTok. I think it's so fun. I learn so much. I laugh, I cry. Like, mostly my For You page is all like golden retriever funny dog videos. And like, I love it. So I'm like, I need to post more on there. It just seems like a fun new platform for me when I've been on social media for over 10 years now like it's easy to get burnt out and I just feel like a fun new platform would be fun keep it fresh for me and like a new challenge so I really wanted to like challenge myself to post on TikTok every single day this year and uh, at first I'm like wow that seems like so much but now I'm like okay like some TikToks take a while to edit and go through like if I'm doing like a vlog of the day but some are quicker so I need to stick to it I haven't like missed a day so far I might have even posted more than one a day so maybe I'll update it to like two a day or something but then I really am like working all day and just sitting here in the office on my computer on my phone and almost missing dinner. Shout out Factor once again. I'm gonna have Factor for dinner again tonight. Like it's <laughs> saving me so much because I'll get to another goal. I think I talked about it last night of trying to eat out less. So that's helping with that. But oh yeah, I also talked about my podcast how I would love to, cause I feel like being specific with numbers is like how you're supposed to make goals, like be as specific as you can. So I wrote on here, I'd love to grow my account to 100,000 followers. It feels weird saying that. I feel so, vulnerable I don't know it feels weird to be like guys like support me I really hope I can but like I do like it seems like my little baby kind of how my podcast has always felt just like a new platform for me but I'm gonna try really hard and be consistent and everything so that's just like something I'm working towards and I got a comment on my TikTok yesterday that was like get this girl to 100k and I'm like why do I want to cry that you're like so supportive and sweet so we'll see if I can get there okay next goal I talked about that for so long post TikToks with audio from my podcast episodes. I haven't done that yet, but I would love to do that to like promote my podcast more. And I feel like I say good stuff in there. Yeah, I think I get in a flow and I have like good advice on topics. So I feel like that would be a good audio for a TikTok. Next one, drink at least two Stanleys of water every day, which I believe is like 80 ounces. I'm actually washing it right now using my Hydro Flask, so I think like almost three of these because 30 ounces instead of the 40. So three of these would be like 90. So I guess, yeah. I feel like I'm already doing good with that. I've been trying to really prioritize drinking water because I feel like I'm always dehydrated. Next one, eat out less. Eat at home maybe like five days a week. I haven't been counting, but I already feel like I'm making good progress with this because last year I ate out so much. And now it's just like, I just have to keep that in the back of my mind 
as like an intention and to be mindful and like things like back to help a bunch leftovers just having stuff that I know I can throw together easily like those salmon tacos I made two nights ago um, are so quick and easy to throw together like in the air fryer so yes I'm feeling good with that one also oh Yes, drink more coffee at home than from Starbucks because I have developed a Starbucks addiction in this past year. I never used to have it and I just made a coffee at home, so I'm doing good. Next one, work out at least five days a week. I feel like I'm doing good with that too. And what I really like, this is kind of like to add to that, is to include a variety of workouts because what I've learned about myself is I really like moving my body in a bunch of different ways. And I used to have phases of like, I, like I can just do Soul Cycle, or I can just do yoga, or I can just do bar, I can just do Orange Theory. But what I know about me is that I like doing all of them. And so, I'm just gonna like mix it all up, do whatever when I feel, whenever, and I think the consistency of just movement and typically, mostly, majority of my everyday life will be beneficial. So like walking, weights, bar, orange theory, soul cycle, running, yada yada. Also, over 10,000 steps a day would be lovely. I feel like I get around 10,000. Uh, whenever, I'm not even wearing my Apple Watch, I wear it like once in a while when I remember, but I feel like it's usually over 10,000. And I feel like that's just like a general, not rule that people follow, like a goal that people have. I don't know who that was recommended by, but I feel like that's just like a benchmark of steps that you could be doing each day to be living a healthy life. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Where did that come from? Okay, next up, read before bed instead of being in front of a screen. I have absolutely failed at this so far, but this is going to change. See, but I've been trying to like learn TikTok and really get in the mindset of TikTok. So I'm gonna be better with that though because I feel so much better when I read before bed and it doesn't keep me up really late. Next one is gratitude journaling morning and night. I've been really good with this. I've been using my five minute journal. Next one is sleep consistently eight hours or more. Oh, and I wrote the time stamps. Yeah, I like to go to bed like by 11, like 10.30. Sounds so good for bedtime. And get up between like seven and 8 a.m. I haven't been good with this because I've been scrolling on TikTok late at night, which is Okay, these next two I'm just gonna say really quick. See, I can't say this on YouTube. But like in this next year, I am putting it out there into the universe. Do what you will, universe. I'm a lucky girl, good things come my way. Everything that's meant to be on my path will be on my path. Everything works out for me. Do you guys know what I'm referring to? Um, if you don't, then I probably sound really weird. But I'm just gonna say these and then we're gonna move on. This year I would love to buy a home on Cape Cod and Get engaged. <clears throat> Next up, I would love to have Brody complete therapy dog training because he is just going to be amazing and wonderful at that. He already is like so therapeutic for everyone. I just feel like his nature, he's so friendly and sweet and loves humans. And if I could do like hospital visits, nursing home visits with him this year, I cannot even tell you like I could cry thinking about it because that just brings me so much joy that he can bring other people joy and like that it sounds like the most fulfilling thing. I literally have a sting in my eyes right now. I want to cry because he's just like, I'm looking at him sleeping right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm so mushy. Next one. This is so long. I'm sorry. Call my grandparents more often be intentional check in with my friends. I think I'm good at that, but I just want to keep that intention because your friends and family are everything next up save at least a certain amount for my paychecks each month i have always had that but i kind of without getting into the details i may make a video soon about kind of like the more behind the scenes of influencing when it comes to like running a business kind of thing which i've had to figure out since i was 15 and now i would say i have a good grasp on it but it probably took me the past 10 years to figure it all out when it comes to Filing taxes, accountants, insurance, savings, retirement, write-offs, all those things. Um, so yeah, all of this is to say I've always been taking money out for savings. I feel like I'm good with that, but now I, even more I'm like focused on that. Have a lower Amex bill than last year because it gets out of control. Last year was out of control, so we're working on spending less this year. Meditating more, cleaning through clutter, cleaning out my space more often. I figured I've been good at that. I'd love to travel in Europe and go somewhere I've never been before. I would love to continue to donate my clothing as well, which by the way, I want to do more research in my area. People always tell me, look for specific like shelters in your area that could use the clothing and that you know it's like directly going to them instead of like a really big organization that I feel like people typically donate to. Like, do you guys know if you go to Salvation Army or Goodwill, maybe that's just like not as, I don't know, I just feel like I hear from people like find like a local shelter in your area, like they could probably use it more. Probably because everyone thinks to go to 
Goodwill or Salvation Army. But anyway, so I want to look into that around here. And I also will continue to donate my money that I get from Poshmark. And I like donate on top of that. But whenever I sell stuff on Poshmark, I don't know if I've said this on YouTube. I believe I said it on Instagram. I think I said it on my podcast. Um, but I donate that money. I donate the proceeds because it feels weird well one stuff that i bought a while ago and if it's going to you guys that just makes me feel good because i want you guys to be able to use clothes that like i'm not wearing anymore but me keeping that money like i don't need that money like i already make other money so in my mind that's such a fun way to incorporate you guys into a purpose for the greater good and to be able to donate kind of together it's like you get something fun out of it like a sweatshirt that maybe I'm not wearing as much anymore that you're gonna now love but also the money doesn't go to me it goes towards a charity so all of this is to say um I've done that a bunch but I always feel weird being like I donated to this charity look at me look how good I'm doing over here like donating like it feels weird but I do do that like I want to make that clear because people are like don't you feel weird if you make money off of something that was sent to for free which exactly that's exactly why I feel weird but I don't know how else to fairly distribute a sweater from Princess Polly that I love that I didn't pay for that was sent to me but I haven't worn it in two years and you guys are gonna love it do you know what I'm saying so if someone pays 20 bucks for that it's like I'm not gonna keep that that feels weird and I donate it anyway all this is to say I've like come to the conclusion a while ago that I was donating um, proceeds from Poshmark whenever I made those sales but yeah it's felt like weird to talk about but I do want to address that if anyone like feels weird like she's making money out of clothes like no I'm not keeping it because that feels weird anyway so I wanted to say that recently I don't know if I like said my YouTube but I was posting about it on Instagram and stuff I did a Poshmark live show is all I'm trying to say and I sold so many clothes and I did talk about in there how all the money was gonna go to a charity and we raised over three thousand dollars like that is crazy when I really think about it I'm like you guys help me do that I'm gonna like cry thinking about it like we donated over three thousand dollars and if you're wondering where I donate the money to I actually landed on the Trevor project if you guys don't know what the Trevor project is basically I've donated to them before I fundraised for them before and I was just thinking after all my Poshmark sales like I wanted to because I have a bunch of foundations charities in mind but I wanted it to feel right and that just like popped into my head and I was like you know what this just like feels right I don't know if that makes sense um but basically if you don't know what they do they raise money for LGBTQ youth for suicide prevention which is obviously incredibly important and just like near and dear to my heart so I love to be able to donate them so that is where your Poshmark sales went and I'm so happy about that so that's a goal going into this year I talked about it for so long but to continue to donate because I was having a conversation with Max the other day and I was like maybe this is I don't know the word controversial maybe you wouldn't agree with this but in my mind I think honestly this comes from my mom like in the way I was raised I think she's always felt this draw towards giving back and like serving her community and she's I've always seen her donate her time donate clothing donate money things like that and so I think that's just been ingrained in me but especially like making a lot of money from a young age and making more than I ever thought I would in the past couple years, I felt such a sense of responsibility to share that and give back. And I was having a conversation with Max saying how I feel like underlying, I've always had this feeling that everyone in general, if you make a certain amount of money to be able to support yourself, even if you don't make that much, if you can support yourself, like, I don't know. I feel like this is gonna get misconstrued the wrong way. And maybe some people are like, no, I work hard for my money, I wanna keep it all. Okay that's fine but like my point of view is I feel that I have like a duty to give back almost maybe because I feel very very fortunate I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about but I just feel as like a human being sometimes maybe you guys would agree with me I feel that we all have a duty to give back maybe because I just feel better that way maybe I was because I was raised religious I saw my mom do I don't know but Anyway, oh my gosh, I'm talking about that for so long. Okay, next up, I want to create a video in honor of my dad. I was talking about my podcast. I don't know if that's something I would share on social media. I feel torn because it feels so personal and like something I would just want to keep for me and my family. But also, I've always said like the number one silver, silver lining of losing my dad so unexpectedly at a young age was being able to share my grieving journey with you guys on social media, being able to relate to those of you that have also lost an immediate 
immediate family member and being able to help you guys and like have conversations with you like I'm literally gonna cry because I'm thinking of girls that I've met in person and we're like oh my gosh I just lost my mom unexpectedly unexpectedly I lost my dad unexpectedly and we just hug and I like cry with them and I'm like I'm so sad because I don't want any of you to feel this because I know what it feels like and whenever anyone loses a parent now I'm just like extra sensitive for them and I cry when I think about anyone losing a parent because I'm like I've been there and I know how bad it is and no 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 like I don't want anyone else to have to feel that um Oh my gosh, I'm so chatty. I'm talking everything. Okay, last thing is I wrote I want to be able to think of him in a more nostalgic way than sad way as I'm like crying over here. That comes and goes in waves. I'll be doing really good. Then I'll be really sad. Then I can talk all about who he was as a person in memories and feel really like just nostalgic and good and smile and think of all the happy times. And sometimes I'm so sad and so mad that he's like missing out on these years of my life and I have so much I want to share with him and tell him and so many things I want to do with him and I want to cook with him again and like all these things you know so anyway yeah okay I need to end this vlog here <laughs> I thought that was gonna be like five minutes of sharing some goals and then we really got into <laughs> some deep talks some ethics of life I does anyone like know what I'm talking about I've just always had this like underlying feeling of feeling like I don't know where these values have been instilled in me. Maybe like religion when I'm young, that you have like a duty to serve others in your community and give back and all these things. And so I guess those are some ways that I've done that. And oh, anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Sorry, it got really long here at the end. I already feel weird now that I talk about charity because I never wanted to come off as like, look at me, performative, but hopefully you can tell it's literally at the end of the video here. I just wanted to share that so that you are aware because I feel like I'll get messages from time to time being like, don't you think it's wrong like making money off of clothes that you didn't buy? And I'm like, sissy, like I am not making money. Like I don't want to make money off of them. I just want you to receive it. And then it's like a fun way that you can contribute to charity as well. Maybe you will feel good about that. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm gonna end off this vlog here. It's so long. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Comment down below some goals that you have for this coming year. I would love to see. I'd love to be inspired by you. And thanks for watching. See you in my next video.